Hi there, this is Mrs. Valink, and I'm going to show you how to install the VMware View client on your home device. That way, if you are home and you want to access your files, you can do so remotely. You just got to install the client on your home device. And there's lots of options for devices if you are a Mac user, if you're a tablet user, or if you have another uh, Windows PC at home. All right, so to do that, you're going to need in a browser window, and Internet Explorer or Chrome, whichever, and the address that you want is HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash view dot catholic dot org if you just type in view dot catholic dot org and you've never gone there before you will get an error okay but I, my computer knows to go there so it's https you have to make sure that s is there if you don't have an s there you're going to get an error and it's going to be all frustrating okay so make sure you have the right address and when you're there it notices that you need to have your client installed so we need to install a view client for Windows. On your home device you can install what you need. You should have the rights to do that. If you look here it gives you all the different options and the first two are window options 32-bit and 64-bit. I'm going to show you how to do a 64-bit and then there's also the drivers for Mac or the, the program for Mac and the iPad as well as for any Android tablet you may have or perhaps even a smartphone if it can handle it. Okay so there's all these downloads here. They are free and available for you to use. So I'm going to do my 64-bit here on the computer, give you an example of what I'm doing. And it tells you what it is, and I'm going to download it. It's going to download the file, and then I'm going to install it. So I'm going to wait for that to download. Ooh, that's going to take a little bit. We're going to use the magic of television. Okay, magic of recording, my file is done, and I'm going to allow my computer to install it. And it quickly goes through and goes to my installation wizard, yes and I'm going to accept the license and view client we should be good next and the default view connection server will be view.muskegoncatholic.org and then next uh, next and if you want to put a shortcut on your desktop you can or if you want to put one in your start menu you can I'm going to do both right now just to demonstrate and it's going to install and this will be just how it is on the student netbooks or if you have a thin client at work this will be the same way you click on there you log in and then you can see your files so this will be logging you to the desktop service or what we call the VDI the virtual desktop infrastructure all these crazy words we learn huh okay my installation is complete and I need to restart my system for it to take effect so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to restart this and when I get back I can show you what it looks like Okay, so now I'm back. I successfully installed my VMware View Client, and there's my desktop icon right there. So those of you that are used to this system at work or at school, you know how this works. You log in. Um, if you are home, I suggest not checking this box. Leave this box empty, and then you can connect. So I hope that helps. From here, you should be all set. It'll be just like you do every day. So I hope this helps you out to access your files at home. Thanks, guys.